Hey, good morning. John from Houston. Back down at uh, Surfside Beach. Uh, all the way north to Canyon to Galveston. Now over in Surfside. Received an uh, email from Chris. His wife and his son were down here on uh, Surfside Beach yesterday. Uh, he's back up in Austin today and she managed to uh, lose her engagement and wedding ring down here in about ankle deep water. Uh, so we're having to do this one uh, via email and phone conversation, trying to put ourselves on the right spot. But let me give you a little quick scan. Beautiful day. Uh, beautiful Texas uh, coastal water today. Nice, calm, fairly uh, relatively clean water for Texas. Give you a quick little pan. A little bit of trash on the beach today. But outside of that, beautiful day in uh, Surfside, Texas. So we're going to be running the uh, CTX 3030 uh, with our sand scoop. And we're going to give it a shot. We're going to check the area where they were also uh, kind of playing in the sand. Uh, and then we'll work the water. We're going to kind of work the grid here on the uh, upper deck first and then move into the water. And uh, we'll try to do the best we can for video today. And uh, Keep our fingers crossed that we're able to find this for them. All right, stand by from Houston. All right, Josh from Houston. This is our second. We've pulled up a uh, Coors beer can and a bottle top so far. Again, a 1236. This is showing 10 inches. Let's uh, let's just take a look. Make sure it's not something small. Yep, we got it in the hole. Out of the hole. See it right there on top. One penny. All right, we'll be back. All right, another 1236, showing three inches, 1237. Saw it sitting right there on the surface. Another penny. All right, we'll be back. Crusty quarter. We'll All be right, back. So punching a 12-14. Get a lot of uh, bottle, bottle tops at 12-14 on this beach. Here's a Corona sitting on the surface 12-14. This is our, our infamous pull tab. All right, we'll be back. We're gonna collect both these. All right, the, uh, Chris felt pretty sure that the uh, ring had been lost out in the water, but he had also mentioned that he and his son and his wife were building some sand castles. Uh, sent me a reference picture, Chris. Uh, looks like I'm gonna be pretty much in the same spot as what you illustrated in one of your photographs. We're gonna start with a, uh, we start with a top side search. I think you can see the grid. We're going way beyond what we believe to be the area just to make sure that uh, we don't miss something. So we've uh, we've run it north to south. We're gonna go back and cut this east to west. And then we're gonna start on the water. And uh, again, keeping our fingers crossed that we've got the right spot. Always difficult without the uh, person losing the item present to give you that first hand account. But uh, information we have this should be very close so stand by here we go we're gonna work on our cross grid now all right it's John I'm back uh, all right finish the uh, top side grid you see the beach is chopped up pretty good about four foot squares worked way beyond what I believe uh, the area in question is just to make sure that somehow we don't miss it uh, we believe the ring to be in about ankle deep water but uh, eliminating the easy surface and I wasn't sure how much uh, 
traffic we might get on the beach today, so I want to make sure I covered the parking area on the beach uh, before I ended up with vehicles in the area of the surf. So I uh, feel pretty comfortable. We've worked this pretty solid. Uh, like I said, four foot blocks, lots of uh, trash, bottle tops, foil, uh, some coin, not much, but uh, we can confirm that we've, uh, we've worked this and punched it pretty hard and uh, it's not up here. So let's get changed out and uh, put some water gear on and move into the water and uh, see what we can do here. All right, we'll be back. All right, John from Houston, quick little wrap up. Uh, about four and a half hours in uh, at about the two and a half hour mark took a little break uh, completed my topside grid search and worked the water shallow and deep and wasn't having any luck and I called uh, Christopher back and uh, tried to work out over the phone with him again some more specific information Christopher had sent me a picture of his son uh, from the water back a picture and uh, I was able to use that so what it came down to is I used that picture to line myself up with the poles and it turned out that the small sign to the left when looking at the picture was right between the first and second column well I had been searching at this angle so I was a pretty good distance off uh, from where the target zone really was at now my top side grid it covered all that so I worked almost all the way down to the poles, but I started my water search from about the log. And Christopher was saying he thought they were about 35 yards north of the poles. So we started here, worked this heavily. I worked a little bit down that direction, but I was actually just shy of where I needed to be. And with that picture that Christopher sent, that was the, that was the final component in the recovery of this ring, is having that picture to align it up between the small sign and the big signs and use that vertical reference or that horizontal reference to put me in the target zone and once I got back on uh, back on line with the uh, signs lining that up it was a very quick process after that uh, the smaller I'm guessing it's the uh, engagement ring or the wedding band was a little more difficult much smaller ring but uh, the CTX 3030 dug it out and uh, it's a good day so uh, Christopher, they're up in Austin. I'm sure they're going to be real happy with the fact that their uh, wedding and engagement ring set have been recovered from Surfside, Texas. So until next time, uh, oh, we'll do a, do a quick shot of the uh, recovery from the, the day's work. Stand by. All right, here's our wrap-up. This is from uh, both the water and the, uh, the topside grid in the sand. I think we're sitting on maybe about 37, maybe 47 cents, somewhere in that area pennies, some dimes, quarter, a lot of trash, a pair of sunglasses, and the prize. Uh, beautiful set. Uh, I'm sure Christopher and his wife are going to be extremely happy when I let them know that their prize possessions have been found and are going to be returned. All right. Okay, it's John from Houston, uh, from Surfside, Texas. Uh, doing good things. Look us up on Facebook. Uh, and Google, leave us some reviews, uh, have your friends follow us and take a look at our webpage. Alright, be safe until next time. Thanks.